Welcome to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. You are watching the fourth video in VMware Site Recovery Manager series. In the last video, we discussed how to connect resources for recovered virtual machines and we created a placeholder data store also. In this video, we are going to install SRA storage replication adapter, configure storage replication between SAN storage and configure array manager. Let us start with storage replication adapter. If you are using array based replication, you must install a storage replication adapter specific to each storage array that you use with SRM. An SRA storage replication adapter is a program that an array vendor provides that enables site recovery manager to work with a specific kind of array. You must install an appropriate SRA on the site recovery manager server host at the protected and recovery site. Go to myvmware.com and browse for storage replication adapter. You can find a lot of storage replication adapter for specific storage array. Here EMC Unity storage replication adapter is what I need. So I'm gonna download it. Once you complete the download, extract and start the installation. Installation is a very straightforward installation. You just need to follow the wizard. Accept the license agreement, click next and click install. Now the installation at site A, SRM A has completed. Let us repeat the same step for SRM B at site B. And for this, Go to SRM B and repeat the same process. Now you completed installation of storage replication adapter at both sites. Next part is to verify the SRM installation. For this, log into vCenter and go to site recovery. Click Sites. Select one of the vCenter. And you can see the storage replication adapter tab is available there and the status is OK. That's all about storage replication adapter installation. Next is storage replication. I already configured EMC Unity VSA at both sites. If you need any assistance to install EMC Unity VSA, you can browse itprogate.com where you can find more articles. The scope of this demo includes only EMC replication configuration. So let's see how to do this. So here I'm going to log into EMC Unity. This is a Unity EMC Unity for site A. First part of uh, the configuration is to prepare an interface. So for that, go and click on interface. then create an interface. Here I choose Ethernet port 3 and give IP address and subnet as per your network configuration. Once you filled up those details, click OK. OK, now you did it for site A. Let us create the same for site B also. So log into Unity in your site B. Go and click on interface and create an interface for recovery site sand storage. Here I'm going to select Ethernet port 3 and enter the IP address, subnet and gateway as per your network. Now you have created an interface for your secondary site storage. Now let's go back to the EMC Unity storage in the main site and create a connection between the main site storage and recovery site storage. For that, click on replication. Here you can see the first interface configuration has completed and the second part is to create a new connection 
between the main site storage and recovery site storage. So let's start configuring a new connection. Enter the management IP of your remote storage. And following to that, enter the credentials. Here you can see it support asynchronous only because uh, this is EMC Unity VSA. It's a virtual appliance from EMC storage. Uh, if you have a uh, array storage which support uh, synchronous replication, then synchronous replication will appear there. Now the connection between main site storage and uh, recovery site storage has achieved. Next is to configure LAN replication between these two storage connections. For that, go to block and select the LAN you want to replicate. I already configured this uh, LAN access to EXSI host. So the only part pending here is to configure the replication. Click on configure replication. You can choose RPO here. And you can see below the RPO there is a replicate to which uh, remote storage. So it is Unity VSA DR. Now in this wizard it is showing provide destination storage resource information. So when you create a replication for a LAN in a primary site, it will create a similar LAN at DR site. So this is the LAN which is going to sit in the remote storage. So if you want to alter something, you can do it. Otherwise, uh, by default, uh, uh, it will be selected like this. Click Next and finish it. Anytime if you want to check the status of replication, then go to replication and you will see a session is running there. Just double click on it. So here you can see the status of replication. You can see this uh, replication section is running. Now the IOPS are connected to local system LAN at site A and it is replicating to Unity VSA at DR site. Let's go and check the EMC at the DR site. Click on blocks and check the LAN availability at the DR site. You can see the LAN automatically created here. This means the replication between the main site and the DR site is going well. Next part is to provide access for this LAN. This replicated LAN is available at a DR site or a recovery site. So we need to manually add our EXSI host in DR site to this uh, LAN. So for this, go to host access and add your DR EXSI server. So that's all about EMC replication configuration. Next is to configure array manager. Configure array manager for each site. So SRM can discover replicated devices compute data store groups and initiate storage operation. Let us see how to do this. Go to your vCenter at site A. Go to site recovery, then select sites and open first site, vCenter at site A. Then select related objects you will see array based replication below that click add array manager here you have two options add a pair of array manager or add a single array manager here i'm going to do add a pair of array manager so it's showing that the, the pairing is going to happen between site a and site b 
and both the SRM server IP addresses are showing there all the details are there click next here you can select the storage replication adapter enter a display name and a management IP of your EMC storage then username and password now enter the storage connection details and display name for your remote storage So here we are going to select the array pair manager that we're going to enable it. So we did uh, all the configuration for array manager. So just select it and click next. Now the array manager configuration has completed. You can see the discovery of replicated device uh, has been progressing in the, in the recent task 